Nuraldi two years later, tears still flowing, resentment growing, Nuraldi city at the unveiling of the Muslim cemetery marker on Thursday, Morsalim Nasser Rahman, tightly held onto a picture of her six, Tyson year old sister city of Amos, who has been missing since militants inspired by the Islamic State, IS, lay siege to Nuraldi two years ago. The 17th, Tyson year old girl joined hundreds of survivors and members of crew, that aided them at the Matara Public Cemetery in Durani Tatum in Kanyagan, where 282 unidentified bodies retreat during and after the thief has been buried. Ethel Renan said she attended the unveiling, hoping she could get a date on DNA test to help find her missing sister, brother and father. When the fighting between government troops and the militants broke out around 2 p.m. on May 23, 2017, her father and siblings took refuge in the house of her uncle, Adnan Rajuman. Three hours later, her father, sister Sidi Aina and brother Elena returned to their house to get some personal belongings. They never came back. We were trapped in Rajuman's house for three days, Adnan Rahman said. Rajuman, her father's cousin who accompanied her to the unveiling rites, said they later decided to evacuate to Kabi in the road city. Only remembrance now, as a remnant only remembrance of her family is a small picture of her six, Tyson year old sister, her father and mother, separated years before the siege. She said she has not lost hope of at least finding the remains of her siblings and father in the grace of the immune victims. Since their family, even if I'm not sure they are here, I came, as a remnant said. Other survivors were impatient about the slow identification process. Until now this government never recognized the need for documentation of people and civilians who died during the siege, said Abdul Adar, Sultan of Nuraldi, in a message during the commemoration. Several private groups helped those displaced by the fighting put up the commemorative marker inside the two Tyson Hetair Matbara Public Cemetery, two kilometers away from the center of the five month gun battle. Each grave was marked only with a piece of wood painted white. DNA Test Secretary Eduardo Del Rosario, Chair of Task Force Bangon, Nuraldi, said they would ask an agency under the Department of the Interior and Local Government about the status of the DNA test, which would serve as basis for future claims of the relatives of the missing. Nuraldi remains in ruins and experts are warning that the solid reconstruction efforts are bolstering the appeal of extremist groups in the country's south. The delays have left about 100,000 residents in Swallow relocation camps for sharing homes with relatives, feeding simmering anger among the displaced and providing a recruiting tool for extremists. The narrative, to join IS, used to be about the Middle East and the plight of Muslims around the world, said Muhammad Sharif, who co-founded the support group for Nuraldi youth. Now it's closer to our hearts because the narrative is Nuraldi, said 32. Tyson year old Sherry, who was himself displaced by the fighting. An angry displaced population in Nuraldi is not a risk that can be ignored, experts say. The government needs to be concerned about the threat of ISIS attracting young left square bracket local right square bracket because of the ongoing resentment from the failure to rebuild and general anger over the destruction, analyst Sidney Jones told agent France Press, AFP. The clearing of debris, the first step before the actual construction, also hit a snag due to legal problems and the government hopes it will finally be finished in November. This will be used as an example again of government discrimination against Muslims and the government neglect for the responsibility of rebuilding Raleigh, said Francisco Lara, an advisor with Peace Group International Earth. Though President Luther has tried to portray himself as sensitive to the Muslim minority, he has sent mixed signals about Nuraldi. He has claimed the city was home to illegal drug activity, a very serious accusation from a leader whose narcotics crackdown has killed over 5,300 alleged dealers, pushers and users. I don't think that I should be spending for their buildings. People there have a lot of money, he said in reference to Nuraldi in an April speech. Still under martial law, Nuraldi and the rest of Mindanao are still under martial law, which was declared by the president hours after the siege began. Incoming Bayan Union representative, Duania Kalamat, 
a member of the Monongo tribe, said martial law has caused increasing and intensifying human rights violations against indigenous people. Presidential spokesperson Salvador Taino said leaders to listen to it, or continue martial law depended on the recommendations of the military and the police. The factors are if the terrorist threat is no longer present, and there are no more enemies of the state, he said. With reports from Julian Rilio, Melvin Gaston 8 and BASP, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.